Welcome to the .NET Monthly Roundup for March 2024. I'm John Galloway, and I'll bring you all the highlights in just three minutes. Okay, we'll start with .NET 9 Preview 2. Some nice updates here, including performance, uh, bringing in vectorization for ARM64, as well as some JIT improvements. ASP.NET in this update includes Blazor Component Constructor Injection. So this is really nice for cleaning up your DI code and taking advantage of primary constructors. Some nice improvements for uh, EF in this preview. And Aspire's preview for this month includes Podman support, also some dashboard updates and the ability to run the .NET Aspire dashboard standalone. That was a very popular community request. So good to see that included in this preview. Okay, neat, exciting uh, experiment here from, from the ASP.NET team. So Steve Sanderson showing off smart components. These are a series of uh, components that bring in smart paste, uh, smart text area, and smart combo box. And this allows you to take advantage of OpenAI support in your applications works for uh, Blazor, Razor Pages, and MVC. Experiment only at this point, so definitely check it out and let the team know you're interested. Okay, speaking of AI, we have a series of quick starts available. These will help you get started building .NET code going against OpenAI and Azure OpenAI. And this amazing post from Luis, this is showing how to use a vector database with .NET. Uh, finding similar movies in this example, lots of uh, code and examples to help understand vector databases. Moving on to tooling, we have the announcement that uh, the Unity extension for VS Code is now generally available, which is very exciting. Works in Windows, Mac, and Linux. Um, also an experiment here, experimental support for MS Build. Um, I'm always scared to touch and break potentially my MS Build files, so good to see uh, this. I'm definitely gonna be using this. A uh, reminder uh, that .NET 7 is reaching end of support in May, so it's definitely time to finish migrating your apps to .NET 8, and there's some great guidance in this blog post to do that. And finally, recommended video for this month is from Stephen Tobe and Scott Hansman walking through writing async await support from scratch with C Sharp. Great way to understand how async await work in .NET. That's it for this month. All the links are in the description below.